Everybody just keeps sending me this clip, so okay, I'll speak on it. At this year's BET Hip Hop Awards, Kurt Franklin, the gospel artist, rapped, and he said this. Like Big and Jay and Nas, the greatest cake of votes. The lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. Now, Kurt Franklin said that he used this symbolism to uplift Jesus, but it doesn't uplift him. It usurps his authority as the King of Kings and the Lord of Hosts. Because in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 5, Jesus is symbolized as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. And in John chapter 1 and verse 29, the Lamb of God is a symbol of Christ. But in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 33, the goat is a symbol of sinners. And in Leviticus chapter 16 and verse 21, the goat is a symbol of Satan. So if the Lion and the Lamb will bow down to the goat, that means that Jesus is going to bow down to sinners and Satan? It ain't going to happen. In Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20, the Bible tells us to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. And that includes Kurt Franklin. And whether you like it or not, truth is the truth.